Welcome to Poems by Yaz, and this is episode 23. Today's topic is love. If you're new to my channel, I share a poem that I wrote each week and I tell a story. It can be a personal story about myself or someone I know or something that's popular in the news or media. And today the topic is love and I want to focus on self-love because it's important to love yourself before you can love somebody else. So first I'm going to start with my poem called Love. Love is such a strong word that should not be overused. A person can only have so much love to give. Loving the ones that are closest to you may not lead to harm. Loving too much can lead to heartbreak if you're giving too much. But if one does not love oneself, then there cannot be love to give. Be confident and happy with yourself, then true love can exist. Today I'm going to start with a story about a friend of mine. It was around eight years ago. She had a really good job and she was happy working and um, she was married and she loved her husband and she was home and she received a phone call. But the phone call wasn't good news. She found out her husband had a car accident and it turned out that he didn't survive. And when she heard that news, her life was turned upside down. She became very depressed and she couldn't go to work for a while and she was heartbroken and she didn't know how to get out of this cycle. So when somebody's in a situation like this, they can let um, something that bad happen in your life destroy you, or you can let the situation give you strength, strength so that you can move forward and get over the situation. And that's what she did. She was the type of person, when she would go out, she would smile and be happy and want to be perfect in most of the things that she did and it was hard for her to be vulnerable. But when she started to be vulnerable, she started to open uh, some, let down some walls and open up to her family and friends and that gave her a little bit of strength and in feeling better. And she started to see a counselor that also helped her and a support group. So doing little things to help yourself feel better is really good, as well as treating yourself because if you're at home in the same setting and you don't feel good and you start feeling depressed, it's not gonna help, it's good to go out. So she took a trip to Mexico and that really um, made her feel like she was doing something and she started to feel good when she did little things like that. And if she went to the store, she treated herself for something. She never feel, felt guilty for buying something nice for herself or going for a facial. Because when she wasn't feeling good, she didn't take care of her health and she started to lose weight. And that's not good when you don't take care of your health because you want to get better. And her support group and the people around her helped her because she practiced gratitude. It's important to be grateful for the friends and family and the people around us because even if things are not good in your life, you should be grateful for the people around you or be grateful if you are healthy because health is really important. Um, in this story, she uh, enjoyed going out for walks and doing yoga. So when she started getting the fresh air and doing different activities and journaling and writing down what really would make her happy, those are things that helped her feel better and more confident and she was able to find herself. So when she started to love herself again, she started to feel better and other people around her felt good because they didn't feel that negative energy anymore. So sometimes when she went out and she wasn't feeling good, other people felt the negative energy and didn't want to be around her. So she was more conscious of trying to be more positive and make the changes and feel better to love herself. And she went to a party and she um, was reintroduced to an ex-boyfriend from high school. And they started talking for several months on the phone and started hanging out and they got into a relationship and eventually they got married and had two kids. So currently she's married with two beautiful kids, so she's really happy again. So this story just shows you that sometimes life um, throws curveballs and something bad can happen, but it's you that can make the changes and make things better. And if you just have strong willpower and try and move forward and try and feel good and take care of yourself, and you can get better and life can really change very quickly to uh, make you happier and have a positive life. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Poems by Yaz and next week I'm going to talk about fishing 
and tips on fishing and a fishing story. So don't miss my poem next week for Poems by Yaz.